7 News is your local election headquarters. Right up until the election, we will be highlighting the races that mean the most to you in the Valley. Starting off our election previews in Brook County with the much anticipated commission race. Thomas DeSirio is running against incumbent Tim Ennis for the seat. Lots of things are in the works for Brook County. From the new judicial annex building, the new bridge, to a centralized ambulance station and a new 911 system. There are also other things in the works waiting to be brought to fruition. Tim Ennis and Thomas DeSirio want to be a part of bringing the county to the 21st century. Both men are lifelong residents of Brook County and are vying for your vote. When I ran for county commission, I made four promises to the people of Brook County. Uh, that I would be a working commissioner, that I would be a uh, commissioner for all of Brook County, that I would be a faithful steward of the taxpayers' money, and that I would work uh, continually to see that the new bridge would be built in southern Brook County. Uh, I'm proud of those uh, accomplishments that I've done. DeSirio says he's running to bring new blood and new life into county politics. He wants to bring jobs back to the area, especially after the Coke plant closed its doors. One of the things that I want to strive for is transparency. Um, that's becoming more and more important as taxpayers' monies are being spent. Employ local people, businesses here, because then it's a trickle-down effect. If businesses are operating in Brook County or the surrounding areas, then the money's coming back in to Brook County. DeSirio says he believes transparency is a big problem in the county. He says he will have an open door policy always. He also wants to reach out to the younger generation and show people they can stay in the area just like he did. Everybody wants to know where their monies are going, what is being done uh, for the residents, what's being done for the business owners, what's being done for potential new uh, business owners. Uh, opportunities in the county. So transparency is huge. One of the things that I really want to strive for is to show the younger generation that they can stay here. They can strive, be positive in our area, and be productive. That's the goal. Ennis says the biggest concern in Brook County is economic development and jobs. He says to have those, you need a strong infrastructure. With West Virginia recently receiving billions in economic development monies, he says his contacts in D.C. could really help the county. I know and have the valuable contacts on both the state and federal level to be assured that Brook County receives their fair share of those monies. Uh, having a strong infrastructure will bring on many, many jobs. And with the new bridge coming to southern Brook County, we've got land available for major economic development. If you would like more details about each candidate, we have it all listed for you over on WTRF.com.